Version 11 contains an array of user experience improvements for mail across your desktop, browser, and mobile device. This session will show you the streamlined mail experiences to get more done and save time when using Notes, Verse on-premises, and Verse mobile web. Let's talk about our approach to the, to the Notes UI. The first thing we really focused on was simplicity. We really wanted to keep the UI simple to use with less clutter. Next, we focused on progressive disclosure. We wanted to show the advanced features and actions as the user needs them. And finally, a more attentive UI. We wanted to be able to manage the user's attention to the right areas and display information away in a way that increases the effectiveness of the interaction. Let's talk a little bit about HCL Verse. We had three things also when we considered HCL Verse on premises. One thing that we wanted to do is we wanted to make mail that understands you. So we enabled and designed this for mobile devices and desktop, where HCL Verse works for you, not the other way around. We also really wanted to uh, manage the user experience and provide less clutter and more clarity by offering a see only what you need interface where we can help focus on the things that matter most. And of course, connecting the me to we. You know, with an array of secure and engaging social apps, Verse opens up new ways to work together. Being in a global role means email all the time. Just like most of us, when I wake up, one of the first things I do is look at my phone. With Verse Mobile Web, I can catch up and triage all of my mail while walking my dog, Stella. She's 15, so she walks really slowly and gives me a lot of time to read email in the morning. So let's take a look what's in my inbox here. Got an email here from uh, Amy. Okay, um, which mail client are you using? Uh, let me uh, let her know here. So uh, we'll reply here. Uh, I am using First Mobile. And I'll send that to them, let them know, okay. Let's see what else we have in the inbox today. And we've got uh, an email here. Thanks, Sally. Reviewed the images. Okay, I don't need to read this here, but this is important, so I'm going to catch up to it later. I'm going to keep it as um, unread, so I know that I need to look at that later. Uh, this one, I, okay, we'll meet later this afternoon. They'll send this short quote, quote shortly. Don't need to do anything on that. Okay, so basically really quickly, I now I've accepted this as well. And now I am ready to start my day. I've cleared all of the uh, unneeded emails, I'm ready to start my day. So uh, I'm going to go take a quick shower and then I'm going to jump to my desk and I'll start my day there. All right, I'm back at my desk after a nice walk with Stella and I am ready to start my day. Uh, I am an old school kind of guy, so I love the Notes client. So let's get going. I am in the version 11 Notes client and what you're seeing is the newly designed UI. Uh, this is all new for version 10. All of this is highly customizable. So you can go into your uh, preferences uh, and you can go ahead and uh, change that and go in your preferences here and go to your themes and colors. You'll see we have a new Notes 11 theme. You can uh, go in there, change that back to the previous themes if you like, and you can also customize your, your color th uh, theme as well. So let's do this really quickly because I do have to get back to uh, Lucas. So let me just, I need to send him a couple emails. Let's go ahead and uh, reply. So as you can see, we do have a new uh, memo uh, form as well. We've done some work on the entire uh, template for version 11. So let me just go ahead and let Luke know. All right, yes, thanks, Lucas. All right, I'm going to send him one more note before we uh, get going here. Okay, we'll reply to that. And okay, yes. 
All right. So I've got my things done as far as mail go. One of the other things that is uh, new and nice in this release is, as you see, as I'm hovering over, we are showing the progressive disclosure. So we've done a lot of the cleanup of the menu bar, and we've put some of those uh, action items uh, as you hover over the message. One other thing, um, let me go into a, a message here um, that we've added is the ability to export this as a PDF. So you will now see the uh, option to export documents as PDF, and that will go ahead and export the entirety of that memo uh, in a PDF format. Um, so that is one of the new additions uh, to version 11 as well. One of the other uh, really nice features that we added in version 11 is the ability to, in the memo form, type in multiple languages and have spell check recognize uh, your languages in multiple languages. So depending on what dictionary files you have installed uh, locally, you will be able to check uh, spelling in multiple languages at the same time. So that is one great new feature. And uh, one other thing that I want to show you really quickly is I need to schedule a meeting with Lucas. Um, so let's get this started here. Hey, Lucas, I am going to be uh, a little bit bold here and I am going to, uh, I need a little bit more time than one hour. I actually, I'm going to, Lucas may not be too happy about this, but I actually need the entire weekend. Um, so let me do this here. So we're going to book a meeting for 73 hours. Uh, over here on the right, we've got the who uh, and the required optional. We've changed the layout greatly. We've tried to make it very simple and clean and easy to see. You can still see your free time here uh, in our free time availability. You can see that I'm trying to book a lot of time with, with my buddy Lucas. He probably will not be too happy with that. Um, one of the other things that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the ability to allow him to forward this invite to other people. This is a one-on-one -on -one with Lucas. Uh, uh, and so I don't want anybody else to, to show up to our meeting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save and send that to Lucas. All right. Uh, do that. And uh, there we go. So we uh, have everything that I've shown you today is will be in version 11. And I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to uh, my good friend, Drew, who will be assuming the Lucas persona in our demo with Verse on Premises. Thanks, Barry. Uh, now we're going to switch over here to uh, Verse on Premises, and this is the latest version of Verse that we're going to be showing. And for purposes of this demo, uh, my name is Lucas Smith. And we just received a mail from Daniel Frankel uh, that was just sent a little bit before, and we can see the two mails down here. Let's open up one of the mails from Dan. And you can see it looks like any other mail here for the most part, but I did want to show you one thing that is very unique to Verse. If we go into this little uh, triple dot hamburger item here, what we can do is we have an extension that's built in here so that uh, virtually any action that you would like to run against the contents of this mail, as long as it can be written in JavaScript, can be executed. So we could easily do a sentiment analysis, we could do a translation, we could do um, a, a grammar check. So this is an interesting little extension that is built into reading the mail. Now, let's go back up to the invitation that we talked about, and this is pretty straightforward. We'll just go ahead and accept it. But while we're doing mail, I wanted to just show you here uh, a little bit about opening up a new meeting. And mainly what's important here is, and we'll just call this a new meeting, for example. What's important here is, is that the calendar has been completely redesigned such that it's very much a progressive calendar. So if we click on these eyeglasses here, that's saying, okay, I'd like to see what all the, um, I'd like to see what all the available times are for for the uh, for for the attendees. So let's type in attendee uh, Sally. Okay, so those are her available times. And then another icon over here. This is going to show us for if we want to have the meeting repeating. 
And then another one will show us uh, the time zones. So what you see is a very progressive disclosure of different elements of setting up a meeting. Uh, and this keeps the calendar from getting kind of unwieldy and showing too much information at once. So uh, it's, a, it's a nice design feature in the calendar uh, that is part of uh, Verse on Premises. So let's uh, close that out. Now what we want to do is we want to circle back around to this area, which we call the important to me bar. So let's start with the two icons here with pictures. One is Sally and one is Dan. And these represent people that uh, the system, with a little bit of help from myself, have determined as important to me. These are people that I interact with, that I do a lot of work with, that um, I'm going to want to um, communicate with very quickly. So now we had a note from Dan, and here's a picture of Dan. If we'd like to compose a note, all we need to do is uh, click on the Compose button and we'll get a, a Compose dialog. If, on the other hand, we'd like to have an instant message chat with Dan, all we need to do is click on that and we'll start getting an instant message, message chat. And then last, we have this little I here, which stands for information. So this is a profile card on Dan. And then if we flip the card around, it's got more information. And what's very interesting here is we've, got, we've built in some extensions such that if you wanted to pull in other information about Dan, you can do it. So we have something here called Blue Pages FVT, and we could annoy that for a moment. But that could pull in someone's Twitter profile where it says correct entitlement. That could pull in someone's LinkedIn profile. So these extensions are built on the back side of the business card to let you do uh, very interesting things like that, very useful things. Now, these are uh, some other people, Amy and Andrew and DJ and Dennis, that the system says, these are candidates for you. Would you like them to be one of your very important people? So all we really need to do if we wanted Amy to be one of the very important people is just kind of drag her over that vertical bar. Two other things to point out quickly are we have an icon here for needs action. And this is kind of like a, uh, uh, a very, uh, very customer facing, uh, very user facing rather way of following to do's. And then of a little more interest is something called waiting for. And this is this when we create a note, we can also attach a waiting for tag to it, uh, which says that we're waiting for someone to send us something to us. So waiting for and needs action are kind of two sides of the same coin uh, and work together. Last thing I'd like to show you before signing off on this demo is, um, my name is Luke, of course, and let's go into some of the settings and to show you uh, how easy it is to, to set things up. First off, we can set up offline mail. Uh, so this is a great, uh, a great feature of Verse that we can use. And we can also go into mail and calendar set settings in general, and we can see that uh, we have a lot of ways to uh, tune the way our, we see our mail. We can do the same thing down here with calendar or out of office. Um, security is very interesting. These are a lot of um, uh, functions that have been brought in uh, out from iNotes, so to speak, and they have to do largely with the notes ID file. We can do delegation, and then we can do um, a lot of round uh, languages that are displayed and alternate names. So that concludes uh, a very quick demo here. And thank you very much. And looking forward to having you try out uh, the Verse on Premises product. Thank you, Drew, very much for that wonderful Verse on Premises demonstration. What we've shown you today is some of the updates in our Notes client, our Verse on Premises, and our Verse on mobile uh, devices as well. So what we'd like you to do is upgrade uh, your version 10 or your version 9 or, or earlier clients to version 11 uh, using Panagenda. Uh, Marvel client that is included in version 1001 to help you with that upgrade process. We would like you to upgrade or test verse on premises 1.0.9 that will be posted in FlexNet at GA. And finally, please keep those ideas coming in aha. We love to get new enhancement requests and we do read every single one of them.